you want to know if the disc came as a souvenir from the Mediterranean. But to know this, it is important to know where the metal comes from. The final line of code was executed. Inside a shielded lab, a quantum computer finished its seven-day analysis of a single Bronze Age artifact, the Nebra Sky Disk. For decades, we thought we knew what it was, a primitive but beautiful star chart. The AI's report began to scroll onto the screen, and in minutes, every archaeologist in the room was in a state of shock. The disk wasn't a map of the stars. It was a message from them. This wasn't a calendar. It was a blueprint and what it was designed to build could change the world forever. Germany's ancient enigma. In 1999, in a dark forest atop Middleburg Hill in Germany, two men were doing something illegal. Armed with metal detectors, Henry Westfall and Mario Renner weren't archeologists. They were treasure hunters, looters, looking for anything valuable they could sell on the black market. Their detectors suddenly screamed. They dug into the earth and about 12 inches down, their shovels hit something hard. They pulled out a corroded greenish bronze disc about the size of a dinner plate. It didn't look like much, covered in dirt and grime. Alongside it, they found two bronze swords, two axes, a chisel, and the fragments of spiral bracelets. They cleaned the disc off and saw something that made their eyes widen, inlaid circles and arcs of pure gold. They knew they had found something special, but they had no idea they had just unearthed an object that would rewrite history. You see, for two years, they tried to sell the collection, first to local archaeologists who refused to deal with looters, then on the black market. The asking price was over $1 million. The artifact finally came to the attention of the authorities in 2002 when the looters tried to sell it to an undercover state archaeologist in the basement of a hotel in Switzerland. The disc was seized and the men were arrested. Only then could the real work begin. When experts finally got their hands on it, they were speechless. The bronze disc was unlike anything ever found. It was dated to around 1600 BC, the middle of the Bronze Age in Europe. The gold inlays clearly depicted the sun, a crescent moon, and a cluster of 32 stars, including a tight formation that was instantly recognizable as the Pleiades star cluster. The most shocking fact was its accuracy. The placement of the celestial objects wasn't random. The two golden arcs on the edges of the disc each spanned an 82-degree angle. This perfectly matches the angle between the setting sun's position on the summer solstice and the winter solstice at the latitude of Middleburg Hill. It was a sophisticated astronomical calculator. It allowed its user to track the movements of the sun and moon throughout the year, even helping to synchronize the lunar and solar calendars. This was knowledge that, according to our history books, simply should not have existed in Bronze Age Europe. The level of astronomical precision on the Nebra Sky disk wouldn't be seen again until the ancient Greeks, over a thousand years later. It was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Treasure, the oldest concrete depiction of the cosmos in human history. For 20 years, that was the accepted story. But not all things are what they seem. What if the star map was just a disguise? The disk's true secret was far deeper than anyone knew. Cracking the Code the Nebra Sky Disk was a paradox. It was an ancient artifact that held modern knowledge. For two decades, scientists studied it with every tool they had. X-rays to determine the metal composition, high-resolution photography to map every scratch, and endless analysis of its astronomical alignments. They learned the gold came from Cornwall, England, and the bronze from the Austrian Alps, proving a vast Bronze Age trade network. But they couldn't answer the biggest question. How? How did they know so much? Every conventional test had been run and the mystery only deepened. Then a new idea emerged from a radical field of technology, quantum computing. Many people are crazy about AI, but this was something different. A team of researchers in Germany gained permission to perform a new kind of scan on the disk, one that would feed data into a brand new quantum AI system nicknamed Oracle. The thing nobody tells you is that a quantum AI doesn't see things the way we do. It doesn't just look at the surface. It analyzes probabilities, connections, and impossibly complex patterns across millions of data points at once. The plan wasn't to look at the gold symbols. It was to analyze the very fabric of the artifact itself. The scan created a perfect digital twin of the disk. 
mapping not just every scratch and dent, but the precise quantum state of the metal atoms and the subtle variations in the crystal structure of the bronze. What many overlooked is that no object is truly random. The way metal cools, the way it corrodes over 37 centuries, the way one metal is hammered into another, it all leaves a story. A normal computer would see this as noise. But for the Oracle AI, this noise was a language. The AI was tasked with one simple goal, find patterns that are not random. It scoured the data for days, running trillions of simulations, looking for any sign of unnatural order hidden within the chaos of the disk's material. The initial results found nothing. The corrosion patterns seemed normal. The atomic structure was consistent with Bronze Age metallurgy. The official story seemed safe. And then the AI found it. It wasn't in the bronze, it was in the gold. A pattern so complex, so ordered, and so mathematically precise that it could not possibly be natural. A second layer of information was hidden in plain sight. A map of what? The first report from the Oracle, I, I sent a jolt through the research team. The gold used for the stars and the sun wasn't just hammered into the bronze. To put it mildly, the process was far more complex. The AI had detected impossibly small variations in the thickness and isotopic purity of the gold inlays, tiny differences that formed a repeating pattern. It was a form of binary code encoded at a microscopic level. It was as if someone had used a technology we can't even comprehend to write a hidden message inside the gold itself. The star map wasn't the point. It was the paper the real message was written on. The team worked feverishly to translate the patterns the AI had found. When the translation was complete, the archaeologists in the room fell silent. One reportedly dropped to their knees. The Nebra sky disk was not a map of the sky. It was a circuit diagram. The symbols everyone thought were the sun, moon, and stars were actually components in a vast and powerful device. The sun was a central power source. The moon was a capacitor or a regulator. The golden arcs on the side weren't for tracking solstices, they were conduits or waveguides. And the stars, especially the Pleiades cluster, were the most shocking part of all. They represented a network of power nodes or receivers. The disk was a blueprint for a system designed to draw energy from the Earth's natural geomagnetic field and channel it. You see, the disk's design was always centered on the Pleiades. For the Bronze Age people who made it, and for many ancient cultures, the Pleiades were incredibly important. Their rising in the autumn sky signaled the start of winter, but the AI's translation suggested a different purpose. The arrangement of the stars on the disk, combined with the location on Middleburg Hill, created a precise schematic. The hill itself, rich in magnetic iron ore, was part of the device. The AI's analysis showed that if a series of metallic poles were erected at specific locations around the hill corresponding to the stars on the disk, they would create a resonant circuit. This circuit would harmonize with the Earth's magnetic field, drawing and concentrating telluric currents, natural electric currents that move underground. The Nebra Sky Disk was the master key, the map showing how to build a Bronze Age power station. This discovery turned history on its head. A gift from who? The revelation that the Nebra Sky Disk was a blueprint for an energy device opened a Pandora's box of uncomfortable questions. The first and most obvious was, who could have possibly designed it? Bronze Age metalworkers were skilled artisans, but they were not electrical engineers. They had no concept of geomagnetic fields, resonant circuits, or telluric currents. The knowledge contained in the disk was not thousands of years ahead of its time. It was from another world entirely. This is why this is huge. It moves the conversation from ancient wisdom to ancient technology. Many people are crazy about ancient astronaut theories, and for a long time it has been dismissed as fantasy. But the Nebra Sky Disk, as decoded by the Oracle AI, provides the first piece of potentially hard evidence. The schematic is too advanced, too perfect. It suggests that the people of the Indies culture, the Bronze Age civilization that inhabited the area, didn't invent this. They were given it. They were the custodians of a piece of technology they likely didn't fully understand, following a set of instructions from an outside source. Who was this source? 
Were they visitors from another star system who saw potential in a primitive human tribe and gave them a gift of clean, limitless energy? The thing nobody tells you is that legends from that part of the world are filled with stories of sky gods who came down from the heavens and taught humanity the secrets of metalworking and agriculture. Were these just myths, or were they the distorted memories of a real event? What many overlooked is that the location, Middleburg Hill, is part of a larger complex of ancient sites. It suggests a coordinated effort to build something on a massive scale. The device shown on the disk might have been just one node in a much larger global energy grid. Could this explain the mysterious power source needed to build other ancient marvels like the pyramids of Egypt or the megalithic structures of South America? The Nebra sky disk might be the missing link, the Rosetta Stone that connects all these ancient mysteries. It suggests a forgotten chapter of human history, a time when we were not alone and when we had access to a technology that we have since lost. This changes everything. Is it possible we are the children of a fallen civilization? The cover-up in wild theories. The moment the Oracle AI's findings were verified, a predictable and chilling sequence of events began. The official report was classified. The research team was forced to sign non-disclosure agreements that carried severe penalties. The public story was quietly updated with a less dramatic but still interesting footnote. AI analysis reveals new details about the disk's calendrical functions. The stunning truth was buried under layers of academic jargon and bureaucratic silence. You see, the revelation that a 3,700-year-old artifact contains the blueprint for a free energy device isn't just a historical curiosity. It's a threat to the entire global economic and political order. The most shocking fact isn't that ancient people had this knowledge, but that we might be actively prevented from rediscovering it. What would happen to the multi-trillion dollar oil and gas industry if it became public knowledge that humanity once had access to clean, limitless energy drawn directly from the Earth itself? What many overlooked is that the suppression of this information wouldn't just be scientific, it would be a matter of global security. The power to control energy is the power to control the world. The Nebra Sky Disk isn't just an artifact, it's a political weapon. This has, of course, spawned a number of wild theories in the circles that have heard whispers of the AI's real findings. One of the most popular is that the disk is not just a power generator, but a communications device. The theory suggests that by creating a powerful resonant electromagnetic field, the device could open a channel or a beacon to communicate with its creators. Are we being prevented from turning on the device not to protect our energy markets, but to prevent us from calling someone back? What if the gift was a Trojan horse and activating it would signal that our planet is now ripe for harvesting or colonization? Another theory ties the Nebra sky disk to the legend of Atlantis. To put it mildly, the idea of a lost, highly advanced civilization has fascinated people for centuries. What if the Andais culture didn't receive this knowledge from the stars, but from the survivors of a terrestrial advanced civilization that was wiped out by a catastrophe? Perhaps the disk is one of the last remaining pieces of Atlantean technology, a desperate attempt by the survivors to pass on their knowledge before it was lost forever. This would mean that the blueprint isn't alien, it's human. It's a piece of our own forgotten high-tech past. The AI, according to some leaks, did find other anomalies in the code, fragments that didn't relate to the energy device. These fragments were described as biological markers and star coordinates, but not coordinates from our sky. They mapped a constellation that is not visible from Earth, pointing to a star system in the Andromeda galaxy. Is this a map home? Did ancient humans possess a lost technology, or were they given a gift from the stars? and our powerful forces today hiding that truth from us? Let us know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe.